is Dawlin Fraser from Living Your Best Life at 60 and tonight I'm going to be starting a banana split ice cream cake. I say starting because it takes about 11 hours of freezer time. We're going to need a half a container of chocolate ice cream, a half a container of strawberry ice cream, and a half a container of vanilla ice cream, 20 Oreo cookies, cherries to top it with, a cup of strawberry topping, a cup of hot fudge topping, and a half a cup of pineapple topping. And actually I made this myself because it's really hard to find. We need four tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of heavy whipping cream, two bananas, and some parchment paper to line our pan with. So let's get started. I'm gonna use a nine and a half inch spring form pan and I'm gonna spray it with cooking spray. Now I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper, which I've cut six inches by 30, and yes, I did measure, and I'm gonna put it around my pan. I'm going to use a clip to keep the edges together. And I'm going to set this aside. I've put 20 Oreos inside my food processor and now I'm going to close it. And I'm going to pulse it until my Oreos look like gravel. Like that. Now I'm going to add four tablespoons of melted butter and I'm going to pulse it again just till it's mixed together. It looks like that. We're going to take our cookie mixture and just dump it inside our pan. And now we're going to press this down into the bottom of our pan for a crust. You want to spread it across evenly. Now we're going to slice two bananas. We're going to take our banana slices and place them on top of our cookie crust. We're going to take this and put it in the freezer for a minimum of 15 minutes. While our cookie crust and bananas are in the freezer, we're going to take out our strawberry ice cream and let it thaw a little bit so it's easier to work with. It's actually been a half hour since we put our crust and our bananas in the freezer. So I'm going to take my strawberry ice cream and I'm going to scoop out half of this on top. I'm going to smash this down with my spoon. And I'm going to spread it evenly across with a spatula. We're going to stick this in the freezer. It's actually 815, so you could stick it in the freezer for an hour before you put your topping on, but I'm actually going to work on it tomorrow morning. Good morning, it's time to start working on our ice cream cake. I've taken my ice cream cake out of the freezer and I have my strawberry topping ready to go. I'm gonna scoop, it's eight ounces we want and it's 11.75. So I'm gonna scoop the majority, like a little more than two thirds of this on top. And I'm gonna spread this across the top. I'm gonna put this back in the freezer for at least an hour or until the topping is frozen. It's been a half hour and we have a half hour longer before our cake is ready to be worked on. So I'm taking my chocolate ice cream out right now to let it thaw a little bit so it's easier to work with. Our strawberry topping is frozen, so now it's time to put on our chocolate ice cream. We're gonna scoop half of this on top of the strawberry. Okay, that's about half. I'm going to smash this down with my spoon. I'm going to smooth this across evenly across my cake with a spatula. Okay, we're going to sit this in the freezer for another hour. Another hour has gone by and I've taken our ice cream cake out of the freezer. I've heated my hot fudge for 30 seconds in the microwave so I can get it out of the jar easily and spread it. We're going to put pretty much the whole jar in. I'm going to do like three quarters. And now I'm going to use my spatula to spread this across. The hot fudge smells so good. We're going to put this in the freezer for another hour. Now for our whipped topping, we're going to take a cup of heavy whipping cream, add a teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of sugar. We're going to use a hand mixer and beat this until we start seeing soft peaks. 
Now it's time to remove our cake from our spring form pan. Now we're gonna slowly and carefully take off our parchment paper. And look at this. This looks amazing. I'm now gonna take my pineapple topping and I'm gonna put it in the center. Spread it across the center of my cake. And now for our whipped topping. I put my whipped topping in an icing sleeve. If you don't have one, you can just use a baggie. We're gonna go around the edges and we're going to make little balls. Right, and then come up. We're gonna do this all around our cake. Now we're gonna take our cherries and we're gonna put them in our whipped topping. This cake looks amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for cooking with me.